Thank you for watching. Just to let you know, I have included some of the mistakes I've made while trying to do this reload. So hopefully you don't make those same mistakes and it'll speed you along and make things a lot easier. Hope this helps. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching my video here. I've had some comments on my other videos about people's concern of uh, having to buy factory ammo and not being able to reload these. So we're going to reload these today. Now just to let you know, they do include a warning on the back of the package that says do not attempt to modify or service this product if cartridge ceases to function. So uh, you're going to be doing that at your own risk. Um, honestly, I. I don't want to be responsible for anyone's warranty or their or their shredder, but I'll be taking the risk on my own, not encouraging anyone else to do this, just showing that it can be done. So we have our fully loaded factory shredder cartridge here. You can see they use a very thin paper uh, with an adhesive here. And And here is a fired cartridge. You can see the get that there. You can see how fine the paper is. It's pretty thin. Okay. You can see that it's it's pretty fine paper. So I have actually uh, tested a previous batch just to see if it was a doable concept. In that case I was using a um, paper tape, medical paper tape that you can get at the drugstore. A little bit on the thick side and it's very sticky and gummy. It did work but it did cause a little bit of <clears throat> issue with cycling where I would probably have one or two misfires per 10 shots. Uh, they would work if you manually slid it into location, but um, wasn't ideal. Uh, it is something you can do. And I have to thank one of the viewers. Um, i give you a shout out here. I'll post it up here so we can see it. Thank you very much for the input. Uh, really had a good brainstorming uh, session there and figured out that we're going to try using tissue paper. So also a lot cheaper than the paper tape. And you can probably pick up packages of these at the dollar store. We got a little breeze here, so I'm going to keep those covered. So what I did here was uh, I just soaked these in water, get most of the residue off, try to get it as smooth as possible here so that we could get a good adhesion, but we also didn't want to make it any thicker. So what I did find also from my earlier attempts with the medical tape was that the center actually pops right out. So that can make it a little easier to work with as well. As long as we get, we just don't want any big rough surfaces causing any bulging on the surface, but this looks pretty, feels pretty smooth. You can see this opening down here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cover the bottom first so that when we fill it with salt, we don't have to worry about all these big gaps or wasting extra salt. So we're going to cover this surface first and then we'll fill it from the top. Let's do that now. So I am going to try using some of my, I raided my kid's stash of art supplies. So we just got us a generic glue stick here. I thought of using just the Elmer's white glue, but um, this is probably a little dried out. It looks like it's all gone. But I didn't want to have 
it's seeping over the salt area and hardening up on the paper, making the paper really hard. And I just cut these in squares. I figured it was easier to cut out the excess if there was a little more than having just little bits and pieces. So we'll do this a little slower so I'm not popping holes in the Here that we just did cleaned it up a little I did tear it a little here we got a tiny opening but I don't think it's going to be an issue I got one here that I didn't quite clean up as well I want to see also like how much work do we really got to put in I soaked it took off most of the excess but we still got some paper residue in there let's take a look how that one works a little breeze here this tissue paper doesn't like it all right, all right I'm just gonna rip this one off and see if that works out fine it's tissue paper so it's not like it's that durable let's see how that that worked out Did tear one. Okay, so we might want to use a little more caution on that. See what I meant about cleaning it out? You see we got little little bulges right in there. Yeah, paper. Well that's actually glue. Alright. Okay. Word of advice, don't just dig into your kids' old art supplies. Get some fresh glue sticks. These are a little dried out. All right. First off, make sure you have a sharp blade. I did not. Okay, that one, not the cleanest of our efforts, but good enough for government work. Now, let's fill this guy with salt. Now, I just save a container here because we get excess salt. You can put that back in the container here. We got our bug of salt salt. I'm actually doing a review on that as well, whether or not you actually need to buy that or not, or if it really makes a difference from your regular table salt. And hopefully, we'll come up with some improvements with this over time, but right now it's more of a, what do you call it, proof of concept. See if we can do it. Like I said, I've done it with some, some success with the heavier tape. I'm hoping that we get some good results with this. Get a little 
little salt on the lip there, but I think those will still be okay. Some salt on the bottom. I think that was more from the container, so maybe make sure there's no salt in the container when you start. Now this one here I found was a little trickier because we need these to ratchet that around. So let's try and make those somewhat clean. Oh, it helps a lot when you get a sharp blade. as clean as factory original but it's holding salt and it's pretty thin Let's see we got a little extra there let's cut that off if we can Be careful this is soft plastic and if we want to reuse these a few times we probably gotta careful with the razor blade Right. Maybe not as clean as the factory, but let's see how it works. They have these little nice little clean discs of paper that look like they just tape on. We don't have that, so let's give that a try. Same problem I always have here is I'm reaching in front of the camera, so these actually don't open as difficult as they look when I'm using it. Let's see how this guy cycles through. Looks like it's working. Let's go see if it shoots. Let's take this for a little test. No salt residue in there. So the shredder seemed to shoot just fine with our reloaded ammunition. I apologize, I did have a head camera on at the time, 
but it was not turned on. So when I tried to capture the head-on footage, there was nothing there. So I thought the side view still managed to catch uh, the effectiveness of the reloads. It, it looked pretty good. Uh, whether or not it's the same quality as the factory ammunition, I don't really think that was the point of the video. It was more a matter of can we reload it and use it without the factory ammo. For me it was a bit tedious, so I probably will continue to buy the factory ammo. And again, it's one of those things that uh, one of the concerns I saw when I posted the review was the concern that if bug assault stops selling the cartridges, then they won't be available. But of course, if no one buys the cartridges, they're not gonna be available either. So for myself, I think I'll probably pick them up here and there. But it's nice to know that if they did discontinue it, we could still still use it. It is a fun gun to shoot. It's a lot of work for minimum game. You figure each cartridge is, is about a dollar, so you can save money. I want to give a shout out to Whippet24. We did a little online brainstorming when we were trying to decide a good paper fit for the cartridge. And so that ultimately led to the uh, tissue paper, which seemed to work a lot better than the others. So if you guys like the video, please hit subscribe. I will be making more content. Uh, next one up I have is the Bug Assault Bug Beam. We'll be attaching that to the shredder and see how that works.